Serendipity. It's a word you rarely hear used these days. It's often replaced by lucky or coincidental, but rarely serendipity. And I think that's a shame. I think that's a shame because serendipity is such a useful word. If you hear that a story is serendipitous, you can virtually guarantee that it is going to have importance greater than itself. It's going to be something that speaks to a larger meaning. And one such serendipitous story takes place here in the Ogasawara Island chain on this island, Chichijima. It happens in September 1944, just at the close of World War II, as the Americans have been pushing back island after island after island until they are just off the coast here. And if you're in the Japanese military, you virtually know that you're going to die now that they've arrived. Almost every single island chain has seen near 100% death rate for the Japanese military. And you have to understand how that must have felt. The terror, the anger, the fear. So when those Americans are just off the coast on that morning in September, Japanese sitting here manning their guns, waiting for them to come in, a squadron of American fighters comes flying up over the island and the Japanese take to their guns and they shoot down as many as they can. A handful come flying into the island doing their best to make it here before their plane crashes, make it to land, become prisoners of war. And it's the wrong decision. It's the wrong decision because the man in charge of the military here, Yoshio Tachibana, He's not taking prisoners. He's a sadist. What's worse, he's a cannibal. He eats the pilots who crash here. He tortures and murders the rest. But that's not the story I'm trying to tell. The story I'm trying to tell is the story of one pilot who decided that instead of coming into land, he was gonna risk the ocean. So instead of flying his plane in, he ejects immediately, crashing into the water, ripping open his head on the tail of his plane as he tries to eject, landing in a life raft that has no supplies, knowing the Japanese are coming, seeing him crash into the water already in their fighters and boats going out to reach him. But the Americans know he's there too, and his hope, his last hope, is that the Americans somehow make it to him through this minefielded ocean. They send a boat to come and get him. And somehow, somehow, they succeed. And that soldier is pulled back aboard. And that's the story I want to tell because that's the story of serendipity. That soldier's decision, that pilot's decision to go that way rather than this way that tiny decision to brave the ocean rather than the land, it fundamentally alters world history. For better or worse, your life is changed, my life is changed, all of our lives are changed by that tiny decision of that way. Because if that 20-year-old pilot had not decided to try to get back to his ship, we would not have the same 41st president of the United States because that pilot's name is George Herbert Walker Bush. That's serendipity. And this, this is rare earth.